I don't know if anybody was waiting for this video from me, but I can tell you I sure was anticipating this package and I could not wait to create a video. Today we are gonna go head to head. I'm gonna show you the direct comparisons between the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is very obviously supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. e.l.f. was definitely coming for Charlotte Tilbury and normally do, they do a good job. So I'm excited to test this out. Let's get into it. So if you are not familiar with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, I mean, it is everywhere. It's been so popular for a few years now. Pretty much, it's like a shimmery, glowy liquid item that you can pretty much use for whatever you want to create a glow to the skin. You can underpaint with it. You can use it as a liquid highlight. You can mix it in with foundations to make your makeup more glowy. It is phenomenal as a bridal makeup artist. It's phenomenal for bridal makeup, but pretty much if you want a glowy makeup look, this has been the go-to. It is $44, and they're always sold out of a bunch of shades such a popular product and elf recently came out with their own version the halo glow liquid filter at only 14 dollars which is expensive for elf don't get me wrong that's expensive but it is $30 cheaper than the Charlotte Tilbury. So I had to test it out. I had to get my thoughts out for you guys and let you know if they are the same or not. The claims are literally the same, okay? I mean, e.l.f. did not try and hide nothing with this one. The major difference that I'm seeing other than the price point is the e.l.f. has less shades. So in the e.l.f., it looks like there is only eight shades, whereas in the Charlotte Tilbury, there are 12 shades, but of course, I'm sure Charlotte Tilbury had more time to expand the shade range as e.l.f. is just throwing this out there. It is brand, brand new. Also, other than the price point, what is different is the amount of product you get. You get one full fluid ounce in the Charlotte Tilbury and you get 1.06 fluid ounces. So you get just a wee bit more product and again, for $30 less. All right, here we go. Let's get into it. So I currently own two shades of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have shade one and three. So I did pick up shade one one and three from the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I don't know, I just wanted to see how those numbers would react. And I did also buy number six just in case I needed to deepen any of those to match the Charlotte Tilbury, but I've done side by sides. I don't need to do that, but I can do a swatch for you. Okay, so let's get into it. This is going to be interesting, I'm telling you. <laughs> so in terms of packaging, obviously the Charlotte Tilbury is a lot nicer, a lot more luxurious, but then is it worth $30 for the packaging? You know, think about it like that. And the e.l.f. is obviously a little bit longer, but I mean, the e.l.f. packaging is pretty nice, all things considered. Let's open them up. So one thing with the bottles that's very different is the opening is in the Charlotte Tilbury is a lot smaller, so you actually get a lot less product on the brush with the Charlotte Tilbury, which I prefer because that way you can't glob too much on. That's something that I noticed with the e.l.f. already is that too much product will glob on because of the larger opening. We both have doe foot applicators. You can see that the e.l.f. is larger. The e.l.f. also also has a bigger dip in the tip of the applicator so again you get more product. The concept pattern that I was noticing from playing with it earlier is you just get so much more product on the applicator which could be a good or bad thing with the e.l.f. For me personally I did find it a little bit annoying with the Charlotte Tilbury to have to keep going in and dipping but at the same time the e.l.f. was a bit much so I would have liked something more in the middle. Let's swatch the first shade okay shall we? So this is the Charlotte Tilbury shade one and I am going going to put it on this side of my hand and let's get to the elf shade one on this side of my hand. Now the elf in the bottle definitely looked darker for shade one and they still look darker as well. I'm going to use my finger and get the Charlotte Tilbury and then let's get the elf. The elf definitely feels more creamy and thick. A little bit more moisturizing than I would say the Charlotte Tilbury does. So that's Charlotte Tilbury versus e.l.f. We're gonna give that a couple seconds to dry. Let's swatch shade three. Now I have shade one in the Charlotte Tilbury to highlight and work as a liquid highlighter. And then I use shade three as all over for when I'm under painting. So this is Charlotte Tilbury shade three. This is a little bit closer to my skin tone. This is e.l.f. shade three. Again, much more product comes out. The e.l.f. I would say is a bit more of a pinky undertone, whereas the 
Charlotte Tilbury shade 3 is more of a peachy undertone and they do feel a little bit different. Like I said, the e.l.f. definitely has a thicker, more moisturizing feel to it, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury feels a little bit more like a true liquid highlight consistency. 1 and 3 in both the Charlotte Tilbury and e.l.f. are going to be the main comparisons today, but I did also pick up number 7. I do know some people like to use this to contour with. I'm probably not going to try this today. The main reason that I picked this up was just in case I needed to darken any of the shades. I definitely want to try this as a liquid contour. You know what? Let me get the Charlotte Tilbury one. I have the Fair Medium Hollywood Contour one from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't expect them to like be the same, but I just wanted to see the color. Then here is Charlotte Tilbury Fair Medium. Not that these are supposed to be dupes, but doesn't the color <laughs> kind of look the same, right? Yeah. So the Charlotte Tilbury, as you know, blends out to be quite sheer, so I can definitely tell these are two different products, but I'll go side by side today with them. Why not? Okay, so I turned down the lights a good bit so you can really see the difference. Again, this is the Charlotte Tilbury side, this is the e.l.f. side. And you can see for shade one, the Charlotte Tilbury definitely is more bright, whereas shade one and e.l.f. I think could have been lighter. And then shade three for Charlotte Tilbury, Shade 3 for e.l.f. You can see they're slightly different tones, but I can tell you on the face when they're blended out, you can't really tell the difference. But both of them look very, very similar by swatch. I would say the e.l.f. definitely looks thicker. Let's get it on the face and you guys are truly going to be able to see. I don't normally apply my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter like this, but for today's video, for you to truly see the difference, I'm going to. So I'm going to start off with the number three flawless filter. I'm going to go one stripe here, one stripe here, one stripe here, three, four, five. Five stripes of product. And I'm not going to use this as just my foundation today. I'm going to use a concealer over top. And I'll show you how I actually make it wearable when I do this. I'm going to use the Sigma Multitasker brush. And we're just going to blend this out. So I don't wear the flawless filter like this often. I will sometimes and I'll put like a skin tint over top and it's really, really pretty. But I definitely feel like I wanted to for today's demo because I know a lot of people will wear this as foundation alone. I'm not gonna use this as actual foundation alone today, but I wanted you to see it on a larger area. So this is shade three of the flawless filter from Charlotte. I did just wipe off my brush. Let's go into shade three of the e.l.f. And immediately just so much more product. <laughs> Thumbs off. Here is the e.l.f. side. Let's blend her out. So all in all, the e.l.f. is definitely a little bit more creamy and thick. So I kind of think in terms of spreading it along the face, the e.l.f. feels a little better than the Charlotte Tilbury. Now I'm not saying that that's a good or bad thing because I like how the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit thinner. So that way, you know, it works better almost as like a liquid highlight. I think that's gonna help it set and last longer. We'll see. But here's the difference. This is the e.l.f. And this is the Charlotte side. I think they look pretty darn identical. The only difference that I would say, and this is me looking into a super magnified mirror and looking for something different, is that the e.l.f. looks a little bit creamier and more hydrating on this side, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury is like the most little bit of this, bit of this, more sheer and dry. But... That's because I'm looking at it really, really hard. You can't tell there's two different products on my face. So in terms of initial application, they're dupes, period, point blank. We'll see what lasts longer. I genuinely believe Elf had the Charlotte Tilbury in their factories and they were like going side by side until they got as close of a formula as possible. I'm telling you. Okay, now let's do the number one fair shade. I probably will go in with a little bit more after I apply the rest of my face makeup, but I just want to see how they compare first. So this is shade one. And use a sponge, shade one, Charlotte Tilbury. I know I'm giving you constant reminders, but we cannot confuse them. Beautiful. Now this is how I usually will use a shade as a liquid highlight. And let's get into the e.l.f. Trying not to apply too much of the e.l.f. And then the Charlotte, because the color is a little bit more different, has a little bit more gleam to it. I would say the Charlotte has a touch more of a metallic finish as opposed to the e.l.f., which is a little bit more glowy. 
So a little bit more metallic and a little bit more glowy and that's easier to tell because of the difference in color. So in terms of using this as a liquid highlight, I think that the Charlotte Tilbury is going to do a better job just because the finish is more metallic and it's a bit brighter for my skin tone. All right, that is pretty darn crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then finally, not that we're comparing these, but I am gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand, just like this. I'm gonna use my sponge and blend it out. And here's what makes the Charlotte Tilbury so special. You can see it looks intimidating, but it actually is very natural. I don't think the e.l.f. is gonna be. It's just the way that it shears out that makes it look so special. And by the way, I know I look crazy right now. It's because I have direct light on my face. <laughs> it doesn't actually look as crazy. When you have a ring light, ring lights do a lot. Okay, let's go in with shade number seven of the e.l.f. I'm gonna use less because this obviously has more coverage. So just a little bit more out here. The e.l.f. one, at least the shade that I'm using, definitely has a little bit more warmth than the Charlotte Tilbury, but they both got their job done just as good. I'm gonna fast forward through me doing the rest of my makeup. You'll see I keep it pretty light. I use mostly concealer. Anyway, you'll see what I'm doing, but this is the way that I like to wear these when I'm using them mostly as foundation. Yeah, foundation. Let's see how we go over powder. So you saw I used a little bit of concealer and then I used the Fenty powder foundation in the center of my face. When I wear these glowy products all over, I do like to put a little bit of powder on top to kind of tone it down. It will come through more th during the day, but that's the way I like to do it. But now I wanna go in with the lightest shades from both Charlotte Tilbury and e.l.f. And I wanna see how they react now that we have a little bit of powder over our face. Okay, so we're starting off with Charlotte Tilbury, shade number one, Fair. I'm just gonna do two, three dots. I'm gonna use my sponge and I'm gonna push it in. And you can see what's beautiful about this product and this is why it's so popular. You can literally do anything with it. You can put it underneath makeup. You can literally put it on top of powder and nothing happens and it blends in seamlessly. Let's give the e.l.f. same chance over here. Three dots, one, two, well, we'll do two because that was a little bit more product. Going in with the sponge. Blending it in. Yeah, I'm thinking the Charlotte Tilbury works a little bit better as an actual liquid highlight. There's just a little bit more gleam that it's giving me. The e.l.f. is kind of just like being pushed in and that also is due to the shade, just being a wee bit darker, but it's giving me a little bit less metallic liquid highlight than the Charlotte Tilbury is giving me, but it's still very pretty. Don't get me wrong, not crap talking at all. That's just the difference that I'm noticing. Can you tell any difference? Comment down below. We're working through this together. Okay, I'm gonna do my eye makeup and lips and then I'll show you after everything has kind of settled how we're looking. So over top of the makeup and everything, my face has been sitting for at least a half hour. I mean, I think everything looks identical. I literally cannot tell a difference. So <laughs> what do you think? Take a quick look. So before we get into wear time, this is what I'm thinking about Charlotte Tilbury versus the e.l.f. I think if you are looking for a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, you literally have found it here. E.l.f. did a great job. Now what I noticed is the ingredients are different. I am not an ingredient buff, so I'm not going to go over that. It, they don't have an identical ingredient list. What I like the Charlotte Tilbury better for is more so on top of makeup because I feel like it has a little bit of a drier finish and more of a metallic finish. I think it looks better on top of makeup. It's more impactful. But I actually think I like the consistency of the e.l.f. for underpainting or for just getting that all over glow as the very first base because it is a little thicker. It feels a little creamier. It feels a little bit more hydrating for my skin. So in that case, it almost looks a little bit more natural as well. It, it is the slightest bit less metallic. So this is better in my opinion for under makeup. The Charlotte Tilbury is better for over makeup, 
but they are pretty darn close. I mean, <laughs> I suspect, and I'm gonna see with wear time, that the Charlotte Tilbury might hang on a little bit better because it seemed a little bit drier and less creamy, of course. I will let you know, and maybe if you have oily skin, you might prefer the Charlotte Tilbury. We'll see, I'm gonna have to update you on that. But yeah, I mean, the e.l.f. is a dupe. I can't say otherwise. I'm not gonna say I like one over the other. e.l.f. did a really great job, but there's different reasons for when I would use what. So I'm gonna be back in a few hours to let you know where I'm at and how my face is looking. But so far, if you're looking for affordable alternative, this is great. I'm really, really excited about this. I also did, before the day goes on, want to show you how my makeup looks in front of the window on my iPhone. This is the e.l.f. side. This is the Charlotte side. Identical. Can't tell the difference. Both look great. So I wanted to close off this video by just giving you an update about how the product is wearing. Now keep in mind, I have not had the most active day. I haven't gone outside today, so it wasn't the best wear test. But of course, as you know, I always do my speed reviews, so you will be updated. But I think the Charlotte Tilbury definitely does wear a wee bit better. It is not bad enough to where you need to get the Charlotte Tilbury over the e.l.f. I am noticing this is the e.l.f. side and a little bit more of the oils are starting to collect than the Charlotte Tilbury. It's not super noticeable because like I said, I didn't do the most today. But as I've been saying throughout the whole video, the e.l.f. seems to be a little bit creamier. And so I think that is resulting in a little bit more of a shiny an oily appearance compared to the Charlotte Tilbury, which did feel a little bit more dry. So maybe if you have an oily complexion, the Charlotte Tilbury might do you better, but both are still great. Elf absolutely nailed this. This is a dead on dupe. Honestly, if you don't want to spend $44 for the Charlotte Tilbury, e.l.f. is the way to go. For me, do I prefer one over the other? Like, no, especially with that price difference. I can't tell you that the Charlotte Tilbury is better or not, but I'll tell you I do prefer the more moisturizing qualities that the e.l.f. contains for underpainting, and I prefer the Charlotte Tilbury texture over top of foundation because it's a wee bit more shiny, which is what I would want if I'm using a glowy product. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If you tried this product out, let me know down below. Let me know which side looks better, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.